For some upcoming projects, I was thinking about doing some wire bending. There's some pretty cool machines out there, even DIY ones, that let you bend wire automatically. But before I decided to build one of those, I wanted to try and do it manually and see how bad it was. In particular, I wanted to try and bend the wire into this shape. Quite. First, let's see if I can get it flatter. Looks pretty close. Definitely not perfect, but close. So one of the ideas I had was instead of trying to do this manually, is to actually print a form. Here's the template. Um, there's a groove here um, that goes through. My print quality is obviously not very good. I haven't been using my printer much for 3D printing. I'm using it for drawing, so I actually need to tune these settings. This is just on the very rough um, settings as well, so uh, the quality isn't great. However, um, we don't really care about this. This is just a template, so we can try and form the wire. And I think it's going to be good enough for that. Okay, so let's see if we can push this in now. So I need the drawing. Right, so here's the drawing. So we just came up through here. Now we go around this way to the right. One thing I did is I printed this with very little infill and it's not very rigid. And it's obvious that that is a mistake.
One thing that would probably be very helpful is to put a chamfer at the top so the wire is easier to guide down into the groove. It's also probably be a really good thing for a CNC if you cut out, cut out this groove. All right, so we just came around the top of her head. Oops, we're going the wrong way. We need to come around down. There we go. And then back. And maybe even a deeper groove would be useful. This one I made the total part six millimeters thick. And the groove itself is three millimeters deep and one millimeter wide. And the width seems just about right. One of my worries was this would be hard to get out of the groove, and that seems like it is not an issue. Keeping it down is actually a little bit challenging. We popped out all over the place. Hmm, it looks pretty good, but it's clearly not inside. So, let's see if I can finagle it some. Yeah, I think a wider groove um, at the top um, would let it kind of funnel down. That's actually not too bad. So, let's see if I can pop this off. that it's still intact and here's the drawing and there it is that's pretty good that was actually relatively easy line it up it looks like my scale is a little bit off Okay, off camera I just bent it a little bit more to try and get it flatter. This is pretty good. So here's the original drawing and the one I did by hand and the one I did on the form all together. Let's move the form out of the way. Overall, both of them look pretty good. The one I did by hand isn't quite as flat. I could probably spend some time bending it and getting it a little bit flatter versus the one I did on the form is, is more flat. The other thing to note is this one has a lot more kind of little irregular bends in it. I think this one followed the guide a lot more. I think it followed like the Bezier's in the original uh, vector drawing a lot better. This one I think was a little bit easier to do following the guide. The form itself I think I need to improve and it would be even better. 